Hey everybody, Akadama Ninja here. What an amazing day. We have gold just bumping above, uh, right up at the uh, all time highs. We've got silver up at one point today, 7%. Uh, I think right now as we're filming this stuff like four and a half percent, we are seeing inventories getting depleted. We are seeing the Dixie, the dollar index up. And that's what I wanna to talk to you guys today about. Now, if you look at a one month chart of the DXY, the Dixie index, the dollar index, now this is the index that compares the US dollar to other currencies. Let's see if we can take this thing off. It's not that bright out here. And what I think we are seeing right now is, well, we, I know we are seeing because we have both the dollar index up and we have gold up, right? Gold's moving up pretty nicely actually over the last month and a half. That is fear moving into the market. That is the insurance play. That is the wealthy uh, individuals, hedge funds, banks, institutions that are moving into these asset classes, both dollars and gold, because there is not only uncertainty in the market, which is an understatement, but there is also the potential for a full contagion, a widespread contagion leading to a collapse in our stock markets. And this is worldwide, all right? Now we are seeing things, uh, exponential threats that we have not seen in recent history to the gold market itself, like the uh, Russia sanctions that are happening and the closing off of certain refining companies. We are seeing, uh, it, it is a threat when you start to see countries, and it's not just uh, Russia too, there are other countries involved in this right now that are out buying gold, especially uh, China, because they understand that that is now becoming a medium of trade more uh, now than the dollar exactly in Russia's uh, stance, right? So countries and large funds are starting to move into gold because they understand that possibly sooner than later, we're gonna start to see not exactly a gold standard, which I know that there are countries already working on those right now, such as China having certain uh, bonds uh, you know, backed in gold, uh, they are starting to see the importance for gold now, okay? Where, you know, for a while that was sort of left aside, now they know it's time to jump in. Now, another thing that's interesting is, you know, when people are moving into dollars, this is a very, very interesting point. And this is why I think gold's actually gonna take over the dollar as a much better uh, a gain of wealth. And guys, I'm gonna stop right here. I've got a link in the description because I know people wanted to buy the Silver Eagles ear day. Um, I've got a link where I think Silver Eagles should be sitting at the time of this recording around $10, maybe 1050 over spot which is crazy in this day and age that that's actually a good deal. But uh, so check that link. There's also some really good deals on uh, one ounce silver, e or sorry, gold eagles as well. Um, so check that link out. I'll pin it in the comments below. But the thing is, is, you know, using as a fear trade and moving into dollars during times of uncertainty are very scary right now because not only have we printed so many dollars uh, and they've distributed them worldwide, a lot of wealthy people understand that those dollars are starting to move back to the United States and what that could cause is hyperinflation. So those dollars become less and less valuable if you intend to spend them in the United States. Now, as of right now, you can spend dollars all over the world, right? There are only a few places that aren't accepting them, uh, but those are very small. I can tell you in my personal opinion, not financial advice, that I believe that precious metals, this is now the era that we're moving into, even though the prices could swing down. However, right now with gold and silver bumping like they are, when they dip in price, there's gonna be a, a buy the dip scenario because what you've seen with buy the dip in the cyclical bull market of the stock market for the last uh, 10 or 12 years, you are now about to see that's gonna be transitioning over to the commodities market because in more and more investors are getting keen on the facts that we are in a long-term commodities bull cycle. So as it goes up and it gets smacked down, people are gonna dive in. Now that's fine in paper markets, right? Because paper markets are fake, they're derivatives. You're just betting on the value of the gold. There's no gold behind it, trust me. <laughs> and try and get some if you wanted to. Um, but the facts are, if you move into the physical market, what happens is people freak out and they buy and the premiums rise when the price is going up. But when it comes down and the value buyers come in and buy up physical, the premium, usually uh, it could dip for a short period of time, but it usually pops right back up and even gets worse because there's such a small amount of physical coins of, and bars available worldwide. 
um, to deal with the amount of massive volume that's moving in that you don't usually save money. So it sounds funny. You want to try and buy the dip as fast as you can when it's crashing. Uh, but really, if you wait too long, it just comes right back up. And I'll give you an example. In 2008, silver went from around $18 an ounce to $11 an ounce during the Lehman Brothers crisis. And that was about a period of you know five or six months downturn, but then it really spiked down as Lehman was collapsing. And it didn't find its bottom until around, I want to say it was October, November of, of 2008. Well, the facts are when a Silver Eagle was being sold for, let's say, $3 over spot, uh, you know, when spot was 18, that means you could pick up a coin for $21. When it fell to $11, I went around to coin stores and you couldn't find a coin. Um, and I've talked to other coin shops too and said, what was it like back then? And said, we didn't sell them for a dime under 20 bucks. So even people diving into the silver market, sure, they might've made about a percentage gain in the paper markets, but you did not make any money in the physical markets because that premium held its value and you could go around because people were buying them up like crazy and you could sell your Silver Eagle for like eight, nine dollars over spot all day long. So I wanna give you that little clarification. So again, I got the comments in the, uh, pinned in the below. Uh, take a look at it. There's some pretty good deals on there today. However, they're deals relative to where they were a year ago. And this is what we've been talking about. This market is now starting to move and it is now just starting to hit the news and i want to pe people to understand that the second gold blows past its all-time high it will be in the news all day long as a matter of fact it's already up there probably you know hey gold's bumping its all-time high when it blows past and it's on cnbc or a fox business and it's rolling across the top gold just made all-time high people are going to wake up and they're going to start buying gold and if you think things have been getting interesting now wait till you start hitting all-time highs in gold and silver and you're gonna wish you would have listened to the economic ninja now again not financial advice not trading advice with that being said guys the economic ninja is out